In this video, we will show you how to make a matcha mojito. The first step is to take some mint and place it in a glass. Three or four leaves should be enough. Then crush the leaves using a muddler. This will help release the refreshing mint flavor. In step two, just squeeze and then add two lime wedges to the mix. Again, crush these together with the mint using a muddler. Matcha is a great way to get an energy boost with a low caffeine content. Step three is to just add 25 milliliters of elderflower cordial. In step four, we will make a simple matcha shot. We start the matcha shot by adding a teaspoon of matcha to cold water. When you've added a shot of cold water, then you just whisk it vigorously until all the lumps have disappeared. When using matcha, it's important not to use hot water because this will burn the leaf. So it's really important that when you're making up your matcha shot, you use cold water in order to protect the leaf. This will also blend better. It is important to whisk the matcha vigorously to remove all the lumps and we recommend using a small Japanese style whisk. When you are happy with your matcha shot, add it to your mixture of mint and lime. You now add some ice cubes. Make sure to add them to your own personal preference. Some people might prefer half a glass and some people like to fill the entire glass. Top this up with sparkling water. It is important to thoroughly stir the matcha to ensure that all the flavors are fully mixed to make your beautiful, refreshing mojito. The final step is to garnish your matcha. Here the matcha is garnished using a simple slice of lime and a sprig of mint. And that is how you make a refreshing matcha mojito.